Hey guys, what is up? It's Alan here, and today we're actually talking about Gran Turismo Sport. It's been a while since we've done a video on this game, however there's been a lot of recent news and announcements, I felt we should dive into them right now. So Sony has revealed its roadmap for upcoming Gran Turismo Sport content for the remainder of 2017, as well as early 2018. The free updates revealed include new cars, an extensive GT League campaign mode, the addition of new offline features, and more. With more than 26 million hours of gameplay around the world over the first few weeks of Gran Turismo Sport since launch, developer Polyphony Digital aims to expand the experience with Patch 106 in November and the introduction of the GT League in December. From November 27th, which is actually this Monday, Polyphony Digital will roll out new cars to GT Sport with three unique models leading the way. First of all, we have the ISO Revolta Zagato VGT, then we have the Audi R18, and finally we have a classic, the Shelby Cobra 427. In addition to the new cars, the patch dropping on November 7th will also enable offline access for delivery editor, the Scapes photo mode, and the campaign mode. However, you will still need an internet connection to save your progress, which is a shame, as if you quit the game before it connects to the server and saves your data, you will lose whatever you did over the time frame you were playing offline. Polyphony Digital has also said there will be various tweaks and adjustments to balance the gameplay included in this update. So some of the other changes that are included in this patch include elements of the car physics simulation model having been improved. This can be noticed especially in commercial cars, Polyphony Digital says, which now exhibit less grip on the road with improved sense of realism and controllability. And in line with those changes above, Polyphony have also adjusted the difficulty level of the driving school and the mission challenges in the campaign mode to allow a smoother game experience. Meanwhile, in the sport mode races, the judgment algorithm of the sportsmanship rating has been improved. It is also now possible to see the deduction of SR points not only for yourself, but also for other drivers involved in a collision or incident with your car. Polyphony has also added Autumn Leaves as a featured Scapes photo option. Some new photo spots will also be added to the game as well. Then, coming in December as part of another free update, fans can look forward to the new single player experience called GT League. Based on the classic GT mode campaign of previous titles in the franchise, players can look forward to racing through a series of cup competitions from beginner to pro levels. They can even partake in endurance races. These screenshots should give you an idea of what to expect from this mode once it rolls out worldwide in December but Polyphony Digital has teased that additional races will be added to these leagues in 2018. So some of the series of races that has appeared in past GT games will also be in the GT League, and these include fan favourites like the Sunday Cup, the Clubman Cup, the FF Challenge, and so on, where players can participate with a wide variety of cars that can also be tuned, and there's also a Beginner League, an Amateur League, a Professional League, and an Endurance League as well to participate in. In addition, the following 12 cars will also be added to Gran Turismo Sport in December's free update. These include the Mazda RX-7 Spirit R Type-A FD, the Nissan Skyline GTR V Spec 2 R32, the Nissan Skyline GTR V Spec 2 Nor R34, the Ford F-150 SVT Raptor, the Lamborghini Countach LP400, the Ferrari F40, the Ferrari Enzo, the KTM Expo R, the Suzuki Swift Sport, the Volkswagen Sambalus TYP2, also known as the T1, the Chris Hallstrom Concepts 1967 Chevy Nova, and the Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Convertible C3. These cars come at no additional cost to the player, and will be simply available to purchase in Gran Turismo Sport using in-game credits. In fact, Sony says players can expect a total of approximately 50 cars from now to March 2018, and tease that content updates will continue beyond March as well. Polyphony Digital also revealed that new tracks will be coming to Gran Turismo Sport as well, but didn't specify when they will be added, and if they will come at an additional cost. With online racing being the core focus of Gran Turismo Sport, it would make sense for Sony to add these tracks for free to the game in order to avoid splitting the player base. Sony has yet to confirm what new tracks players can look forward to, but we're sure the wishlists are substantial. From Imola to Silverstone, as well as Indianapolis and to Scuba Circuit, there's a bunch of circuits we'd love to see added into Gran Turismo Sport. GT Sport launched on October 17th, 2017 for the PlayStation 4, and it was the first entry in the long-running racing series to make its debut on Sony's latest console. It also takes advantage of the PS4 Pro, with dynamic 4K and HDR resolution features, as well as the PlayStation VR with a virtual reality tour experience. 
I'll keep you updated with whatever future Grand Chisma sport news and announcements there is. I will also be doing it on Full Throttle, which is my upcoming website that I'm working on with Tom Matthews, so stay tuned for that. Link can be found in the description below once the site is live. With that out of the way, I hope you all have a wonderful day. These Grand Chisma sport updates do sound fantastic. I really look forward to checking them out. Be sure to drop a like on the video if you did enjoy, leave a comment with your thoughts below, subscribe if you enjoyed and want to stay up to date with my content, and until the next video, I will see you guys later. Bye!